President Andrzej Duda referred to the tragedy in Przewodów last November. With the war going on across our eastern border, Poland must be prepared for provocations from Russia and Belarus. We must be prepared for provocations, and we must remain vigilant. Indeed, we can expect them, but it is very important in such a situation to have composure and to act thoughtfully without hysteria. Let me use another example. The Allies are grateful to us for our reasonableness and cold blood in the face of the tragedy in Przewodów. According to the president, the events on the Polish-Belarusian border in the fall of 2021 were planned actions of Belarusian and Russian services. I believe that this was an operation of the Lukashenko regime with the support of Russia. About this I am convinced, and not only me. I treat probably all the people responsible for the security of Poland who meet at the meetings of the National Security Bureau, and we do not generally have doubts in this group about what the operation was, who was behind it, and who controlled it. The invasion of Ukraine began on the morning of February 24, 2022. The day before, President Andrzej Duda visited Kiev with the president of Lithuania. This was a signal to Zelensky and to the Ukrainians that Poland would not leave them alone in the war. This is extremely important, because let's remember, certain issues were settled. There were proposals from other sides that Zelensky should leave Kiev and go somewhere and so on. That is, in essence, for him to desert and lead to the demotivation of his troops. Poland not only then, but also later, gave these kind of signals that it would stand in solidarity until the very end. The war in Ukraine has contributed significantly to improving Polish-American relations. The United States has become a close ally of Poland, as evidenced by President Joe Biden's second visit to Poland in a year. In Europe, a certain center of political gravity is shifting eastward. It's moving from the west more and more to the east. And Poland is that place of particular strategic importance, which was symbolically highlighted by the fact that during President Biden's visit to Warsaw, there was a meeting with the Bucharest Nine. Poland is not only the border of the European Union, but is also the eastern flank of NATO. It is for this reason that the Ministry of Defense is consistently rearming the Polish army. Last week, the U.S. Congress agreed to sell Poland nearly 500 HIMARS launchers. It is a kind of paradox that we have to spend huge amounts of money on weapons so that Russia will not want to attack Poland, so that in the calculations of this obsessed regime, such an attack would not pay off. President Andrzej Duda has made it clear that the alliance commitments between Poland and the United States are permanent. This was also confirmed by President Joe Biden in his speech in Warsaw. The U.S. leader stressed that Article 5 of the North Atlantic Treaty Agreement, which talks about mutual assistance, is sacrosanct. If there was no Polish military and Polish policy that serves the security of the United States, then they would have to send several divisions here, hundreds of thousands of soldiers. This is a great cost to the American budget. It is much cheaper and wiser to rely on certain allies, and a certain ally today is Poland. More than 10,000 U.S. military troops are currently stationed in Poland.